All right, everybody, what is up? It's Flix. Welcome back. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about update 1.8A for Apex news and what comes with this new update. So, the evolution event is now live for all players, but if you guys plan on hopping on Apex and enjoy this event, sadly we can't because the servers are down, and that's something we kind of all predicted would happen because Apex servers are absolute dog trash. So, yeah. That does not surprise me in the slightest, but a bit of a minor inconvenience. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, guys, to stop the for your latest Apex news. But without further ado, let's get into the rest of these patch notes. So there is a lot of buffs and nerfs to different legends in this new update. So Bloodhound, whenever he pings an uh, enemy, has been here recently. Instead of relying on Bloodhound and, you know, no one roughly how long ago that was everybody will be able to see how long ago that person was there if it was 20 seconds 30 seconds 45 seconds you guys guess the gist of it so that's going to be very useful especially if you're playing with randoms and you don't have a lot of communication octane is going to be a reduced jump pad horizontal distance by 10 percent to 15 percent and reduce the rate of octane stem regen from 1.5 to 1.0 hp slash second so uh that'll be rather interesting rampart has quite a bit of buffs in this she will be able to carry around her sentry gun or her sheila but if you are in mid gunfight and you want to switch to your r99 and then switch back to your sheila you can do that your sheila will not disappear and your ability will not be cancelled. You can switch back and forward until the timer runs out or unless you ran out of ammo. But obviously if you're carrying it by hand, you only will have one magazine and it only will, will have one magazine to uh, use for the duration of that period. You're not going to be able to shoot it, reload and then shoot again. And uh, apart from that, that's going to be interesting to see how that works. Also, death boxes will now show how much shield is left in the uh, box. If you hover over an evil shield, rather than just click X on it and guess how much shields has left on it, it will come up how much shields is displayed whenever you hover over the shield, which is going to be relatively cool. Also, you'll be able to shield spot from red over shield to yellow or gold, should I say, instantaneously. You won't have to hold in your X button or whatever button you know, you're playing with if that's on mouse and keyboard xbox or playstation you'll be able to switch over within one button um rather than hold that button in so that is usually a minor inconvenience especially in those gunfights whenever you just have to quickly evil swap um it always comes in relatively handy the mastiff uh it has a headshot damage multiplier reduced from 1.5 to 1.25 so you must the peacekeeper and the mastiff the triple tech ADS charge decrease from 1.0 to 0 0.8 seconds. The L Star actually has a big change. It has a cool off time slightly increased. Overheat lens replacements time slightly increased. Rounds before overheat reduced uh, at base and all energy mags and tiers. Base is 22 to 20. White is 24 to 22. Blue is 26 to 24. And purple slash gold is 28 to 26. Arena's price adjustments has been increased to 500 to 600 at base, 300 to 225 at blue, and 400 to 350 purple. Also, the shark caps hop up is also getting a big buff in the evolution event as well. More damage for bullet and faster straight speed with the furry furry. So that is going to be really really cool, um, especially because the furry furry is uh, kind of a crappy gun at the minute i guess you can say because of the bullet drop but if you can land your shots it can be very very rewarding there's going to be apparently a new location in ramparts town takeover and also you'll be able to customize modded paintball weapons with materials these guns will cost a bit but they will come fully kitted at different tiers and this should give players a reason to rotate mid-game so pretty much all it is is a wee machine you spend crafting materials to make it shoot paintballs apparently and uh, different tiers cost differently. Sadly, the PlayStation app is kind of a bit broken at the minute, so I can't really uh, show you guys screenshots of what those images look like. So I do apologize in advance. Um, kind of a minor inconvenience, but anyway, as long as we can get the information out there to the public, that's all that really matters. But apart from that, guys, 
that's really about it for the update. Obviously, there's going to be skins and uh, all that good stuff uh, in the rotation. As I, get, as I did say previously, the uh, app is currently down, so I can't show you guys any more of the screenshots, which is a bit of a minor inconvenience. I will leave a link in the, in the description down below whenever the patch notes do go fully live, because they probably will be things that I have missed, or there'll be things that they've added to the patch notes. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope we catch you guys on the next Apex video. Peace out guys, take care, and thanks for watching it. If you made it this far, subscribe, turn on post notifications. See you in the next one.